I'm Chris Ramos with Food Truck Insider, and today we're making puffy tacos inside El Charles Food Truck. I'm the food truck manager. I've been with the company for a little over four years now. Day-to-day -day operations, the truck's been really busy. We're on the road about seven days a week. And it's basically just an extension of the restaurant. Um, you know, we, same puffy tacos. We sell uh, enchiladas and fajitas. There's four restaurants. Uh, we've got one in Fraser, one in Macomb, one in Troy, and one in St. Clair Shores. El Charo's been in business since 1971. Um, the food truck, um, was sort of part marketing and part obviously you know bringing more money into the company um we're we're typically you know east side we have a really big following being you know the locations of all of our restaurants so this was just kind of an extension um of that you know to try to get the people from downtown um you know the west side the people that aren't familiar with us, with us to get them um, familiar with the food i'm al and as of today i'm the grill slash taco guy Basically the same thing. What, how long have you worked for El Charles? Uh, this week will be six years. Six years this week? Congratulations. Thank you. How's the truck compared to working in the kitchen at the brick and mortars? It's a lot more laid back. Laid back on the truck? Oh yeah. Okay. Why is that? Smaller menu. Okay. You're really only making a few things at a time, whereas in the full restaurant you're making 20, 30 at a time. Okay. So, I mean, definitely more laid back. This is your first time in the truck. How do you feel working in the truck? I like it. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Yeah? A lot yep. of action? A lot of action. Yeah, a lot of people. I like it a lot. I'll do it again. What, uh, what's the most popular thing going out the window? <laughs> um, the tacos, for sure. Someone who's never had El Charo before, I want them to get our taco. That's what we're known for. That's what's going to bring it back. So that's what I want to be. Puffy taco. Puffy taco. Puffy taco. El Charo truly is home of the Puffy Taco. And out of this truck alone, they're doing about 400 tacos a day. That equates to about 550 pounds of beef every single week out of this truck alone. That doesn't include their four other restaurants, where sometimes this truck does more volume than the restaurants. still early, but El Charo is the place to be. We've already got a nice line, 15, 20 people, all ready for some puffy tacos. Um, don't get a black truck, it's really hot. Um, and just, you know, think before you do your design. You know, our layout's not bad, but I've seen trucks where, you know, they, they say, oh, I wish, you know, my steam table is over here and you know that, that's a big fix to uh, mess up and um, also just running the window I mean taking in money and putting food out that's huge because speed is everything especially down here um, you know these people have maybe 40 minutes to eat lunch by the time they get here they've got 30 so you know they're, they're gonna be waiting in a long line you need to get that line <laughs> So impressed. This is a, they're, they're relatively complicated tacos and meals. There's a lot to them. A lot of different steps involved, and these guys just fly through it, making puffy tacos, cooking the meat, plating them, getting them out. They do it right. Okay, and you've been you've been to the El Charo truck before? I've been to El Charo truck and most of the 
multiple occasions. Multiple occasions. Fantastic. Well, yeah. So you're like a you're a El Charo fanatic. I'm a seasoned professional. A seasoned professional. Awesome. What you order today? The puppy tacos out of this world. So. Okay. That, that's your that's your favorite thing. The puppy tacos. The puppy tacos probably my favorite. The beans and rice though, they're really good beans and rice. Okay. For, yeah. You prefer beef or chicken on a puppy taco? Good taco. Thumbs up. Definitely different feel with the uh, puffy shell. It's not a hard shell, but it's not a soft shell. Yeah, it's a nice hybrid, right? Yeah. Very nice. Should I go back for more? Yeah, I'll do this again. All right. Yeah, the marketing aspect has worked really well. Um, the restaurant sales were all up about a month after the truck came out. Um, and dealing with people so close on a food truck, I mean, you, you get those people that even make a point to come back and say, you know, that was the best taco I've ever had in my life. I love the enchiladas. Where are your restaurants? I, I answer the where are, where are the restaurant question five times a day. So one small improvement that I noticed that I think we can make, uh, this is the three compartment sink right here and they use this as a prep surface. Something we've done in a lot of other trucks is actually insert uh, cutting boards into the three compartment sink so that when the sink's not being used, they can still use that as prep surface. That's what they're doing now. They're using a lid for their fryer to do that and they have some other methods as well but I think one, one improvement we're going to make is to get some, uh, get some cutting boards custom made. We'll make them at our shop. We'll fit them right to the, to the three compartment sink and that'll give a nice, clean, smooth prep surface so they can do some more work back here. Every inch counts in a food truck. In case you don't know by now, the reoccurring theme in all these trucks, it's hot. So uh, bring some water, bring a fan, wrap yourself up in a handkerchief, and get ready to sweat. El Charles, say what's up? Yeah. All right, there it is. And now I've got to try it. Oh. These puffy tacos are like this hybrid of soft and crunchy taco all in one. The beef is seasoned perfectly. Nice mix of cheese in there. But the puffy taco is definitely in a league of its own. Get a puppy taco. If you have a puppy taco, you gotta be eating one of these. Alright, so the afternoon is winding down. These guys have put through hundreds of puppy tacos, chicken beef, plus a whole lot of uh, enchiladas and other, other items. Uh, they are moving, grooving. Keith's got a nice flow to the truck. Everything seems to be working pretty smoothly. They, these guys are professionals. They know what they, they're doing. They've been doing this for you know, 20, 30 years in the restaurant industry and they just translated that right into their, into their truck concept. Um, they're able to market their business. One of the number one questions they got all day is where are your locations exactly? They've got them listed on their truck, um, but people want to know exactly where they are because they want to go back for more food. So not only are they making money off this truck, they're sending customers to their brick and mortar locations. So it comes full circle. It's great marketing, it's great food, and it's a great profit center. This is the way to do it, especially if you have a brick and mortar. Hey, if you like this video, please hit subscribe down below. Hit it, touch it, slap it.